I'm not drinking then. Good evening, Geek Nation. I'm George, and this is That Geek Show, the show where we talk about the latest and greatest from the world of collecting, movies, video game, TV, and tech. And with me breaking all this stuff down is my brother from another mother, Calvin the Statue Fanatic. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. I wish I would have charged my headset because I feel like Princess Leia with these with these things on, man. You look like Princess Leia with those Jesus. things on. Jesus. These things Dude, are huge. Countdown has begun. I will be in West Palm Beach. Get Next week. Hold the F up. Next week. It's going to be good. <laughs> yeah. Next I week. We're going to let you guys know about that more in a minute. And <laughs> with us, as always, is the Messiah of Friday Nights. He has more monikers, but I'm not going to say them all, because he's just about to do them right now. It is your man, Seth. <laughs> what? Popping, everybody. It is me, your messiah of Friday nights, your sole proprietor of the Hot Toys Lounge, your 1-6 scale supreme leader, also known oh now forever as Buttery Smooth. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Especially when we get that camera toned in. Yeah. I don't know how you Buttery remember all that shit. people. <laughs> I think he just makes it up on the fly. That, no. No, because he gets it right smooth. every time. I did call him Buttery Smooth today because he told me he was going to have this camera working. He probably just <laughs> turned this thing on five minutes before the show started. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. Uh, how's, your, how's your guys' week been? Oh, uh, man, it in. has been cool. I'm just, I don't know, man, busy week as usual. We're gearing up for the holidays. You know how retail is. With the holidays, so yeah, man, I'm just ready to come down there and have some fun. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be next week. So before we get into all of that, let's get to the roll call. So Seth, get into it, and then we'll talk about what's going down next week. All right. So we've got 51 people watching and 22 thumbs up. Thank you, everybody, no. for joining us on this lovely Friday evening. And let's see who we've got in. <laughs> the chat we've got bj c dog we've got josh brewer we got edwin diaz we got ed collectibles we got rob swallow slapping us early with the turtle dick we got <laughs> omega Sup we got omega supreme we got Pinche baracho we got my man jason we've got lewis and let's see who else we got we got kid collector we got hugo we got eric garcia we got one two buckle my shoe we got Red Hood, we got the graphics guy, we got Ride Every Day, we got Scotty P, we got Bob the Great, we got Johnny J, we got Philip A, we got Traveler 6888888888 because it just keeps going. We got Josh <laughs> Butler, we got Anthony Henry. Got Let's Brian Papini in the house. We bro. got Scotty P, Seth in 4K is money. You're goddamn right it is. We got <laughs> Jose Otero. We got J.R. Rodriguez. We've got Cobra Classified. Cobra! Cobra. We got Luis Ortiz. What else do we got going on down down south? We 90, got Chad 80. in the chat. You yeah, too, man. Chad. 90. Yeah, 90. 90. We got Drez Pops. We've got Sawyer Stash. We've got MCU Geek Hypes. We got Nackin Baser. Uh, let's see who else we got. We got Willie Woodson, and I think we are all set. What is going on, everybody? All right, so let's uh, let's talk about what we're going to be doing next week. Even though we usually talk about that at the end of the show, but whatever, we're doing it now. <laughs> uh, Calvin's coming into town. Oh, and, you yeah. Know, that hasn't happened. This epic event has not happened since last year. Was it last year? Yeah, maybe the year uh, before. No, it was maybe like the year two, before. It was like almost like two years ago. Almost yeah, like two years. Ago. Wow, man, yeah. time flies, man. It does because yeah. we've gone out of town what three times since then. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But we did, we did San Diego Comic Con, we did New York Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and Japan too. Absolutely. And All Japan. Right. And then. Japan. Yeah. yeah, we did a lot since that point. All right. So the last time Calvin was in town, we got crunk. That was that was a hell of a freaking. <laughs> that was a hell of a night, man. I mean, I'd, oh I woke God. up with a serious headache the next day. Um. <laughs> I, you know, what I remember about that night was you having to get permission to stay out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? I always got to get permission. This time I got permission ahead of time, so I don't got to worry about it. <laughs> he was saying, hey, guys, look, set, uh, George was like, oh, man, I got to go home. You know, like when, yeah. your kid, when, you're, when your kids and your friend has to go home before the lights yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this was George. He turned around. He was headed back to the garage, kind of walking real slow, all bummed out. And then all yeah. of a sudden, George comes back around the corner. I can stay out later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm free. Yeah, yeah George is like, uh, what, what was it? Like um, Leo in uh, The Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not fucking yeah. going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome, man. Yeah, man. We were out late. We were, we were at a, a pinball arcade. And, yeah, that um, was fun. That yeah. way, I had never, I've never been to one of those before, man. It just totally took me back to my childhood. I mean, all those games, everything. What the I didn't fuck even know is up like with this existed. camera? I don't know what's up with your camera, dude. That's why you should learn how to use the camera before we start using it. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, so what's happening with this camera right now? So we, right. we're definitely going to have to fix this. Yeah. He has it set right now so that it is, it is trying to shut off because it's been on for a long time. So we have to turn that feature off. So it doesn't uh, continue to cycle to try and shut off, um, because, yeah, you have power and it it says, oh wow, it's still getting the signal. So, by the by the way, real fast, the greatest name in YouTube Alive has shown up, gracing us with King our presence. Ding-a-ling. The Ling of Ding, King Dingling. What is up? <laughs> the Ling of Ding. <laughs> so, like I said, Calvin is coming in next week. We are going to be doing a live version of our live show. So it's going to be even more live than usual. And we're going to be at an arcade. What arcade are we going to be at, Seth? We are going to be at Flynn's Arcade. I like the name. Flynn's Arcade. So, That's so is cool. is this going to be a meetup for any locals that hang out with, that, you know, hang out with you on the show? Uh, I'll put it up in the, in the group and see who can come by. I know Victor is, uh, is in, well, he's further south. I know Pedro's around. Yeah, we got so we got a few guys wanna, in the area. Because I yeah, think so Chad's people, headed down. Ch- Chad, Chad, gonna be, Chad's gonna yeah. be coming. Yeah. So if people if people want to come if people want to come by, I think it's like fifteen dollars to uh, to for all all play in the arcade. So you know, you guys come by, come in, pay fifteen bucks, hang out, play some yeah. arcades. Do they have drinks at this arcade? They better. I'm not. Yes, going. they do have. They that do was have a bar. They okay. Do, they do have a bar in the back of. Listen. I wouldn't let us go somewhere if there wasn't, you know, cerveza. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, I need I need some kind of drink while I'm playing my video games. <laughs> I know, right? Pinche saying I appear a little pixelated, but maybe it's the new camera. I think we just need to learn how to use the new camera a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Uh, Jason, it's okay. no, Jason, no, it's not in West Palm Beach. It's actually in Margate. Margate. I agree, Eric. That is effing cheap. So it should be cool, man. I, I'm looking yeah. forward to this. So that's going to be yeah. next next week starting Friday, right? Or when, are we, when are we going to do the live show? We're going to well, do it on Friday or we're going to do it on Saturday? Thursday. I'm coming in Thursday Friday. night. All right. And so, so we're going to still... hanging out Friday the, the that day. Shows, the Geek Show's on Friday night. Out. I know the Geek Show's on Friday right. night. I get it. But <laughs> I thought we are also going to go out and do some little toy. Because remember, we never went to Tate's. That's Saturday. That's right. And you want to go to Tate's. Okay. So yeah. So it's going to be Friday night. So it's the whole weekend. Yeah, it's going to be a whole weekend of epic fun. So not you only are we going to be doing a live show from that, but we're also going to be doing a toy hunt on Saturday yeah. around Florida. And if you guys are in Florida and want to hang out with us, you're welcome to come hang out with us. We, we're going to be going all over the place. We should call Cal- the, the event of Calvin coming down and hanging out with everybody. We should call it Calvin Palooza. The Calvin Palooza? <laughs> Calvin Palooza. That's awesome. That's chocolate. pretty epic. That's <laughs> or, pretty epic. Or, 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 or what is it? Uh, yeah, sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Archangel in the chat? I'm sure he would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't Hugo, seen him. I don't even Hugo, know where does he live, man. I don't yeah, even know if he's. Um, Hugo is saying, Seth, you need to set the quality camera to fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. That's, that's why Seth don't understand it. It needs to have that setting on there. Yeah, it needs he's like, oh, that's the setting, setting I want. <laughs> I got it. By the time next, the time the next show, Seth would have this all worked out. I oh, hope yeah, so. Definitely. Because I want to use this, I want to use this camera for when I do the, um, the hot toy, uh, you know, the hot toys lounge. So. I'm not going to get into politics, but I do think what I saw was funny. G Force is like, can, can you move the MC logo? I can't see the Hulkbuster. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh man, is that going to bring the Hulkbuster down? Oh lord! What people are no, asking man. for? The, can you move the Hulkbuster? I can't see the. Hulk yeah, he can't see the Hulkbuster. That's oh, hilarious. Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh man! What's up with Jr? Is uh, what's he doing this week? We're not talking um, about statues, so he didn't want to come on. No, <laughs> that's not what I don't know what happened. I mean, I shot the message in. I mean, maybe because I I didn't put up the the geek show until like six today. I think or, or it was like five today. I, okay. I, it's been a weird week since I started working back at the office a little bit. So they had me going to the office you're today. Back. You're you're actually back in the office partially, not really. All right. 
Yeah, so like I went into the office twice this week, and then um, and then you know, I came back, had to deal with meetings and stuff like that. So I wasn't able to get you know the, everything up the way I usually get it up. Sub candy so man. That, that 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 sounds like a personal problem. It is kind of a personal problem, you know, performance issues. Oh it's a, you know, <laughs> right, 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 every, right. Every day he's saying he's having quality time with the bat pillow. With the bat pillow, yeah, that could be the reason too. Jason, Jason saying he's washing the bat pillow. <laughs> and he probably really needs one. <laughs> He's like, uh, what is it? You ever see that? You ever see that movie with Adam Sandler? Jesus Christ! It's good, yes. man. Don't worry. Just keep yeah, talking. Don't worry you, ever about it. The, you ever see that movie with Adam Sandler? Um, click. Yeah, click. And the and the and the dog the the dog Sundance always goes after the stuffed rubber, the stuffed animal duck. To, yeah. To, to, to hunt. That's Junior. It's the bat pillow. <laughs> junior humps the bat pillow. All he's all he's I, thinking I, uh, about all he's thinking about is his his one third scale line coming in. Oh, that one third <laughs> hush. Oh yeah. <laughs> man, I um. I bought my grandson something today that is freaking epic. I'm a little you get? jealous. Um, so he has a Switch. But mm -hmm. uh, Nintendo released a VR Mario Kart Ooh. car that's remote control, controlled by the Switch, and a Luigi car. And so what happens is you create your own track in the house, and it's, it gives you this virtual reality where in the house he's racing a real car, but it has all the virtual characters all over the house. Pretty that freaking cool. epic. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are into Mario Kart and all that, but it's. it's I haven't played Mario Kart in a long, long time. I haven't played Mario Kart cool. since Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's been a long time. About the same time as Seth's saying. So Omega Supreme is saying, dude, MCE, get SH Fig Arts. Dude, you got to. Seth actually just got one. What? What? SH Fig Arts. You, got, you picked up that Mandalorian, right? I did. I picked up the SH Fig Arts Mandalorian, which I can't wait for it to come in. We, uh, we picked that up from Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah. So if you guys are looking for cool collectibles like that, please go check out Big Bad Toy big Store. Big Bad Toy Store. If you want, it's big, it's bad, it's BigBadToyStore.com. So <laughs> George will leave the link in the description below. And you guys can go ch check it out. There you go. It's and uh, I got a we actually got a few things on the way from them. The so. SH Fig Art stuff, I like the way it looks. I got an issue with the price, man. It's a hundred dollars for it, for a, a six inch action figure. But, but you know what you're paying. But you know what you're paying for on the on the reel with the SH Fig Arts is the articulation. articulation. I the know articulation on those figures is second to none. Um, way better than than the Legends. Um, I really enjoy again the, the articulation because then you can really do some cool freaking poses. So right. you know, I like the Hulk. I like the Hulk that I got from um, Infinity War. That right. one, I did a review on that one, dude, and I was just like totally taken back on like how well the articulation was with that. So is that a thing? Sure. One hundred likes, and you're gonna bring down the Hulkbuster? Hundred likes, have, and you bring down know, the do Hulkbuster? Do we have a hundred likes already? No, we only got fifty right now. Fifty. So yeah, one hundred and four viewers. Hey, listen, if we get okay, this is the this is the deal, folks. Okay, since I'm in the since it's Friday night, I had a good day. I picked up some cool shit, and I'm really in the giving mood. So, if you guys get us to 100 thumbs up and get us to 150 people watching, I will bring down the whole cluster. Oh, nice. <laughs> Rob Swallow is asking me if I got that Django Fett hot toy today. Is that what he said? George, you get that? Yeah. You the did? answer to that is, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, had to, you should have done the other one. The fuckity fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah go, <laughs> fuckity fuck yeah! <laughs> So Hugo, absolutely, I got that. Going to review the uh, Thanos and Lady Death by XM. No, I'm not going to be reviewing that one. That was very expensive. I heard the shipping on that was almost like eight hundred dollars to get to the yeah. U.S. I was no, like, I, yeah. I, I won't be getting that either. But I did break down and, and order Bumblebee from their Transformer line after I saw Starscream in person. Then I just got. I, you got the Bumblebee, the Bumblebee too, from yeah, from uh, Bumblebee, from XM man. Studios. Yeah. From Max Man, why don't you get Megatron, dude? You got you got Optimus. Well, first of all, I don't even like Megatron as much as I like the other ones. I'd get Grimlock before I got Megatron. Yo, I would get Grimlock before it it would be for me, it would be Optimus, then Grimlock, then a, then maybe a Megatron. Actually no, then a Star Scream, then a Megatron. So well, I, I you know. Did uh did it's you Calvin see, it's Calvin's uh, turn. People are asking what you to do the fuck people are asking you to do the fucking fuck yeah, it's your turn. Oh I can't do that. Come on, dude. Bro. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> Dig down deep in your sack and let it out. Let's go. I, 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 I don't. 
know that I can do that. You can do it. I have faith in oh, you. Give me a moment. You, you, why don't you guys save some of this shit for when we do a live show? No, we, we are doing a live show. Our, we're going to be in an <laughs> arcade. There might be a little We are doing a live show. Come on, oh, Kelvin. Wow. Not enough Let to it drink fly. Yet. But uh, what about um, uh, Soundwave? Did you see that? Yeah, Soundwave looks dope. Soundwave looks good, too. So I... I I, I like that one as well. Evil Ernie was awesome back in the day. Yes, he was. Where did that come from? That was random. I like that. I even have Jason. number his first appearance in Three Lady Deaths. Where? Oh, Which one? On. What, what did I miss? Always, see, he's gone. You always start and stuff. What did I start? What are you talking about? Everything. Come on, Calvin. You can do it. Fuck it, fuck yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to like, clip it. <laughs> Cellcom says to me if I'm going to get Jemin on one of the shows. Jemin's been on one of the shows before, man. I mean, he's always welcome to come on whenever he wants to. So, so yeah, yeah to that question, absolutely. Whenever he wants to come on. You uh, guys had my boy on last week, and I didn't even know he was coming on the show. Fate. Yeah, Fate. was on the show. And I was like little. I, I, I was a little, you know, I felt some type of way about that. Because Why? Because he and I haven't been on a show together since um, Immortalized in Stone. Like, and I, he's one of, my, I mean, one of the guys that I really like in the, in the collecting. I wanted to be on the show with him. So and, uh, he, here's his, what happened I, there. I, I asked him earlier in the week if he, if he could be on the show, you know. And then he told me that he didn't know if he would be able to do it. So I was like, all right, cool. He asked me what the time was and everything. So uh, then you told me that, you know, you were busy and you had work and you, you couldn't get on. And then he didn't tell me that he could be on the show, that he would be able to make it on the show until like 7.57 or something <laughs> like that. You know, the show's about to go live and that's and then he's in the chat. Dude, shoot me a link. Shoot me a link. You know, I'm just like, all right. So then we get him on, on the chat. But that was awesome, man. I liked having him on the show. It's because, yeah, man, you know. Yeah, man, it was fun. I, I, you, you said, uh, uh, look what you left me with, man. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, him and Jr. Man, that was pretty interesting. Is something we, do we we're still live, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, people are just making sure. What happened? No, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the other stream here. Where, so why where do I need a hug? Viewers. Calvin needs a hug. Why do I need a hug? Because he just said, "Fuck yeah!" Just, I, you just look, you just look yeah. like you need a you just look like you need a hug, dude. I do, right? I need a hug. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, so did anybody did anybody come in and join me and watch me last night in the Hot Toys Lounge? As I unveiled the custom Antonio Stank. Uh, Let's see it again. Let's see it again. Do it again. Do it again. Fuck fuck yeah! (laughs) You can be saying that all the time now. Here is the custom custom Antonio Stank portrait. Put it closer. Put it closer. I I am putting it closer. Closer. There we go. Damn, that really does look like me. It's Antonio Stank. Look at that. It's dope. It's the custom Antonio Stank that's freaking dope. So we will be selling these over on MCE's website. <laughs> <laughs> get your get your Tony Stank portrait today. Get your Tony Stank head sculpt today. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing head sculpt, though. It that really is, does look like. Dude, they they kill it. They, they if there's one if there's one portrait that they kill, it's it's Robert Downey Jr.'s every time. Yeah. I don't that's think I've gotten Robbie one. Down- that's not Robert Downey. That's Tony Stank. That's Tony Stank. <laughs> it's Antonio Stank. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Somebody asked me if I was getting any of the PCS G.I. Joe statues. Not yet. I got. I'm, I'm still debating if I'm going to get any of those, really. I, I like my, uh, my, my six-inch figures from Hasbro. I think they're pretty dope. Um, see all the questions that were coming up in the chat. Trying to yeah, that camera. That, that, that was... Really yeah, that nice. zoom is yeah, great, that, man. That, that's yeah. exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want want it for for when I'm doing the Hot Toys Lounge and I got to show yeah. everybody. It's like, gonna work. The small pieces, it'll it'll pull in perfect. That is gonna work. You know? Hey, Calvin, man, since you weren't on last week's episode, and the, and the thing was is that we were doing the uh, recap of the first like three or four days of the of the sideshow con, the, mm-hmm. but then Saturday and Sunday had two more reveals. So did you get to see the uh, Batman Who Laughs premium format figure? I did. What you think, man, of that one compared to like this awesome. the XM one? I, I, I got to get out of this dark, nice world that I'm in because I <laughs> want them all. Um, yeah, man, I like that one so far. I've like I've liked all three of them. I like XM Prime One, 
and um, sideshows. But so I'll probably be mixing and matching some things up then, depending on what sideshow does with the other Dark Knights, mm -hmm. instead of looking at going all Prime One because that can get pretty expensive and the footprint is just so huge. Right. So I'm yeah, curious to know how they do. My my it man just showed up good. in the chat. The OGest of geeks. OG the OG What's up, man? Geek. What up, Mike? One two buckle my shoe is asking if we're gonna be reviewing the Sideshow Mark Seven maquette. Um, after seeing some pictures of it, I'm considering it. I don't like that edition size, man. Three thousand of them were made. It's well, kind of big. I, because I love you three. How much was it? I love you. Yeah, I love you three thousand. I get. I, I get you. that. I love you three thousand. It's like seven hundred and change, or close to eight hundred. It's it's yeah. kind of pricey. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it's not really pricey in comparison to the other maquette. Like, I, I got the Mark Three already. And I like my Mark Three. <laughs> Josh, so. uh, Josh Brewer is saying, I picked up the Mando Sideshow yesterday. Wife put me on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, the Mando uh, hot toy coming in. I, I saw that with your hunt, man. That was pretty cool, man. <laughs> oh, there's a, yeah, Everybody there's a thought whole... that was a skit, man. You really do live on the couch. They don't I do live on the couch. Listen, <laughs> it's only going to get better as time goes on because me and, me and Mike were talking about it today while we were out. I have a real addiction. And and I can't I can't stop buying things, and and, <laughs> hey. and it's gonna it's gonna put a an innate strain on my on my marriage, and you know it's just just you know listen, it, right now she's just gonna have to deal with it. There's no ands if buts about it. I am the sole provider of this family. So I have a say. I get to <laughs> do what say, I want deal to with do. it. Get the fuck out. Yeah, exactly. It's basically what he's saying right there. <laughs> exactly. So, so hey, Melissa, let, me save my, let me let me save my friendship with Edwin Diaz. Uh, Edwin, I let still me save have my your. With Edwin Diaz. Yeah, yeah. I Edwin, I, I look, man. You have to forgive me, man. I still have your Bruce Lee fig pen. I have it. I did get it back. I promise you, I am gonna take that damn thing to the post office and send it to you. Forgive me for my slack assness, okay? I'm looking into the camera and like begging for your forgiveness, brother. I will get that fake <laughs> pin to you. Thank you. <laughs> Anthony Henry is asking what we thought about the, the side. That was the other statue that was actually, there were three reveals over the weekend. There was also the, the, the Dark Side premium format. Did you happen to see that one? Or was it Dark Side Maquette? I don't know what. I think it was nah, a Maquette. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I was, oh, so, no, no, I did see it. I did see it. Wasn't with it the orange hand. Yeah, I did see it. With the orange Cheeto hand. You seen that? Oh, what the commercial when the guy sticks his finger in the? Well, no, no, that's the thing. The the, the the dark side statue has like it's painted like normal, but then on the once on the hand, it's like completely orange. You know, like because it oh, looks so like it's like Cheeto fingers. It looks like he's got Cheeto fingers. Look, he stuck his hand in the bag. You know, I mean, it, it it. I think the sculpt of it looks good. I don't understand why they're calling it a maquette, but yeah, the the paint on the hand, I'm not digging. A, uh, AJ187 wants to know if anybody's picking up the Cara Dune that they announced. Ah, uh, man, I'm on I'm on the fence about that. Um, it's not that, that I, I, I just, I feel like something's a little bit off on the face, you know? And I, there's I so know. many other characters from, from the Mandalorian that I would get before her. Yeah, I just don't think she's so, a character that you make a statue out of. Yeah. I, got, I have the thick pen, I'm just saying. Yeah, the fig pin. Uh, uh, I would buy her in a in a black series figure, no problem. I would question buying her in a, in a hot toys maybe, but um, like for for me anyway, like I would have bought the heavy Mando before her, the IG Eleven before her, uh, even uh, um, the uh, the man. I can't think of his name right now. Um, what Apollo? Creed? The name is evading me. No, not Apollo Creed. Uh, the, the 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 creature that says I've spoken. I losing you guys you don't know that? No, the, the I, I am spoken man, guy man Seth you don't know who that is I know who the I am spoken guy is I just don't remember his name yeah I don't remember his name but I would have bought him before like if they put they they, they offered that on the on the creature I would have probably bought that um so yeah I just I just feel like like she's on the bottom of the list of, of where I would buy so it really depends on the price but I do like the way she stands next to to the Mandalorian I think that looks pretty cool so yeah but the, you did order the Mandalorian, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got way too many Mandalorians now. <laughs> yeah, I got the fig pin just like you. I got the fig pin now. <laughs> I saw that. I, I was mean, like, yes. He got the fig pin. I got a Mandalorian helmet. I got Mandalorian Hot Toys, Black Series, the premium format figure. I'm oh, like, his, name was, his name was... Uh, Funko Pop. Uh, his name was Cole. 
Cool. No, his name was uh, cool. Uh, cool. Cruel. Or cruel. Yeah. Yeah. He was vo- He was voiced by Nick Nolte while he was sober, at least. Yeah, J. Rod. I'm very excited for that Django. Absolutely. Cool. That's that's the name. Thank you, Jason. That's that's the name. About? I just I just googled it on IMDb. I know, but Jason put it on there, and oh, he had it actually okay. spelled out. So you got to thank the people in the chat, man. They're participating. Thank you, guys. Participate. What's we got here? He agrees with Pinche Boracho. What did Pinche say? Pinche, I would buy Gina in her MAA outfit. <laughs> Listen, there was a time and a place where she's pretty. I would, I, I would do ungodly things to Gina, Gina Carano, but she's got know. a very beautiful face. I just feel like in the premium format, there's something a little bit swollen about her face. Looks like she's a little bit on the pregnant side or something. So, like the new Wolverine, I saw that too. I don't like that at all. I didn't like I that didn't either. Like that at all. Yeah, Somebody just like mentioned someone... that. What about the new Wolverine? Yeah, it looked like someone punching not... him in the back. Saying if someone's artistic take on him, just not one that I want. Right. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I'm not feeling that. Mike was a Mike was a riot today while we were out while we were out hunting. He's saying right now, I'm not excited that I have to wait two years. Wait for that two Django years fit. for the Django fit. Dude, this dude was losing his shit in the middle of Tate's because of what we found, and he's like, it's literal, it's literally coming in next week for him, and he couldn't fucking wait. And he's like, I'm just going to buy it now, and I'm just going to have two of them. He's like, I, I don't care. He's like, I'll join you on the couch. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this shit was fucking hilarious, dude, watching him squirm. I agree, Anthony. Two freaking effing freaking freaking frick Wolverines. Wait. There are too two many Wolverines. There are too, too many, many Wolverines. Yeah, there are too many. Yeah. Hey, TV up, Racer, ATV what's up, dude? Racer? Anybody picking up the XM Green Lantern? You getting that one from the uh, the Rebirth line? I'm thinking he's, he's talking about the one six scale one. Nope, because I actually like um, better than that one. I like the one from Twitter. Twitter head. Yeah, Twitter head's nice too. I like theirs better. Yeah. Couch buddies, you guys can <laughs> hold each buddies. other. <laughs> yeah, we can we can know. sing the song from from Ted. We're we're couch buddies for life. Fuck you, Thunder. You can suck it. Well, I, <laughs> yeah, Rolando, you're not song. late. You're just in time, man. Well, Rob, I agree with you, dude. They they. I felt like the Django was a little bit overpriced. Also, two eighty something almost for that for that figure. Well, Whatever, I still ordered him. Thank you, ATV Racer. It has been a little bit of a of a of a stretch to try to get the um, you know, the display set up. It's still an ever work in progress. So, but thank you. I appreciate that. G Force Racing is asking, "When's the Hot Toys yard sale?" Seth, I know, right? Never. I have been, I have been getting, getting used to not seeing pops behind him. It took me a while, so to not. I'm see actually, pops. I shouldn't say that because I'm actually in the process of probably selling um, three Hot Toys in my collection to make room for other, other stuff. So that's right. Jason. I said it, folks. I'm selling some stuff. Boo. Jason, I kind of want to. Uh, Need, Go ahead. need to start a GoFundMe for a sofa bed for Seth. A sofa bed, <laughs> a good one, right? <laughs> well, what is it? I want the um, I want the double decker bed from the Lego Movie. <laughs> hey, there you, hey, there you go, Seth. Half fast reviews. Double decker. Bed. How do you say it, Seth? Oh, if you're yeah. not doing it half fast, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Craig? How you Craig? doing, man? How's it going, bro? He was down this way in uh, in uh, in Panama City recently. Getting a suntan. Yeah. Drinking Mai Tais. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else we got? You know, going back to the whole thing about the yard sale, I was kind of like, I'm liking your idea, Seth, about, you know, on the next convention, maybe getting a booth, you know? Yeah, we, can, we, we can, get a booth. We can do meet and greet, you know? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's another reason to come down. So, yeah, I think it'd be fun. But, but we, what booth? What? We can't do anything. COVID. No, we have cons down here. We had a con recently. It wasn't. Oh, that's right. It's Florida. You guys don't have the coronavirus in Florida. No, 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 ain't nothing about that. Yeah. I mean, we don't have our, we don't have as much of a second wave going on yet as is going on up north. But I mean, yeah, just I watch mean, the news. Florida yeah. cured. Yeah. It, it'll 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 come back. Yeah. Um, I like running around. I like running around our office at work and yelling coronavirus. So <laughs> it's pretty funny because I'm like. Ha! There's like nobody at the office, man. It's like I'm there yeah. and I'm like, man, it's like a ghost town. Yeah, there's like maybe ten. Well, first of all, you got to keep in mind, I've been at the office almost through the entire, almost through the entire, the entire thing. Mm. Um, with that being, with that being said, I think even with the office opening back up, I think the max amount of people I've seen is maybe been 15 tops. And yeah. we have, we have easily almost 200 people that work in that building. So. 
But as far as the con, that like we went to that toy con that was over here in West Palm Beach. God, but it was there wasn't that many people at the con. I mean, who are they? You know, masked, everybody was masked uh, up. Yeah, everybody okay. was masked up. You know, and everybody was like keeping the uh, safe distance from others and everything. It was it was actually I didn't feel uncomfortable at like I, I right. thought I was. But but Seth was like, oh, we're going to a convention. And the only thing I'm thinking about is the normal cons. You know, where you're like this with everybody. And yeah, I was like, exactly. I, I don't want to do that. So, uh, but when we went in there, it was, you know, I had space from people and, you know, it was cool and it was cool seeing some of those vintage toys and everything. And it was a little bit sad seeing a lot of empty booths. So yeah, I bet I, I am, um, I'm really hoping, um, that there some progress is made by summer next year. Or so maybe San Diego yeah. has to happen for Listen, sure. I, Hopefully maybe New York. I, I agree. I agree with you guys. I am not one to talk politics, nor do I give a shit about it, but if somebody's not gonna call the elephant out in the room, who better than an elephant me, in the room? Who, who better for me than to call the elephant out? So what elephant, Donald Trump, right? Oh, I'm talking about Donald Trump. He got uh -oh. he got he got he got COVID, right? Yes or no? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, That's what they, yeah. How how did that fucker get cured so fast? Yeah, I don't really want to talk about this. I think it might this. have something to do with he's the fucking president of the United States. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference if he got cured that fast, then why can't everybody else get that cure? Just uh, saying. Let me say that again. Yeah. He's a fucking president of the United States. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Let's let's change subjects away from that. I know, that. right? I don't really want to talk about mean? politics at all. He... Well, no, so it, was, it, was in talks because... it was in talks about cons and things over. No up. politics, yeah. Yeah, so, no, no politics. You know. I don't, don't want to talk about that. I don't even want to mention that dude. All right, I know, let's... right? So Move away from that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's what else? Hey, what did we get this week? Anything special? Anybody get anything so, cool this week? We got a lot of cool shit this week. What I got, get? I got, it's over there, but me, my clumsy ass will end up breaking it and trying to bring it over here. But I got a review that I'm putting out. I got Diablo Lilith, Diablo 4 statue from Blizzard. A freaking amazing statue. Oh my God. Love it. Absolutely. It's, it's right there. He's like, he's right here. He's right here. <laughs> <laughs> show us, man. Show us. It's, it's right there. All right. Uh, I, oh, shit. No. Yeah, I know I'm going to do something stupid. I'm not doing that. I'm going to break it? No, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. What did I'm I get this it. week? I got I that animatronic break, baby Yoda coming break this week. Bradford Exchange shit. Somebody said, sexual chocolate for president. Yes. <laughs> hey. But you, need to come in, but you need to come out and do that whole thing from like... Uh, Coming to America, where he was singing, I believe the children are a few. I can do that. Don't look. <laughs> hey, once we get there in, in West Palm Beach, depending on how many drinks I have, I might do a whole lot of shit. Five uh, grades is like, uh, change the subject. Thongs. I, uh, I am so glad. I am so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that <clears throat> you're coming. You're coming down, and you're actually going to go on a toy hunt with us, and you're going to see what it's really like to toy hunt with me, and, and you know, George. George has gotten. George has been on a couple of hunts with me, and we've we've had some we've had some fun. Um, Mike goes all hunting right. with me all the time, so Mike knows all what right. I'm all about. But I'm it's, be... it's about having it's about having a good time. A lot of impromptu jokes, you know. So a lot of driving. G Force. I saw those right. new unlocks for so, the Razor Crest. So, that thing is dope, bro. So Freaking I'm dope. I'm really excited about that. Carefully, and I'm gonna walk over there. And I'm yeah, go walk carefully. over there. Go get it. Don't break it. I'm gonna. Make I'm gonna talk about these Razor Crest unlocks. This. Okay, hold on. Go, go get your thing. Go, go get your I'm thing. I'm I'm Dude, I'm they released the the um, the the carbonite figures. You saw that, right, Seth? Yeah. Man, I'm excited about that. I hope we get the backers for that, bro. Right. That's I made it be that dope. far, man. No accidents yet. And, Cal and, Cal and Calvin's like, and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. there. We go. That thing this, is sick, man. I need. Oh wait, wait. There you go. I need to talk about how is it? I don't need to see me. You just need to see Lily. All right, there we go. Hey, there we go. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I need. I I talk about it in the review. I'm still working on it, but this statue is extremely heavy, beautifully sculpted, paint job. Everything on this thing is just amazing. I couldn't find anything I didn't like. How is it that we can get a statue like this for under four hundred dollars, and we have other companies that produce things like three times twice this amount? Blizzard does an amazing job putting some quality stuff out there that people can afford. I really mm. like the work they do. The only thing I could think of is that they're not paying uh, licensing fees because they're doing their own stuff. That yeah. So 
That's probably but, the I mean, reason this, why they're able to get around it. This statue be. is just absolutely. It's, they it's do great insane. work. Yeah, they do great work. So I'm not going to move it again. It's just going to stay here all day. I'm not. I'm not going to tempt fate. Yeah, just don't <laughs> run into it with your head or anything in your arm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is somebody asked what scale is it? Okay, it's supposed to be a quarter scale statue, from what I guess. Um, I'm not sure what this character scale is. No, Lilith you know. is bigger. It's, but uh, it's got to be twenty. It's twenty four and a half, twenty five inches tall. It's mm -hmm. about seventeen inches wide. Um, with the you can't see everything on camera. The camera's done, done doing not a bad job, but there is just so much detail and 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 awesomeness on this statue. I I could not as I looked at it when I was doing the review, couldn't find anything I didn't like about it at mm. all. And I have never even played Diablo but once for a very brief period of time. This makes me want to play Diablo four. Yeah. No, nah, it looks dope. Yeah. I uh, got a few questions in the chat about other stuff. Um, SA Badger is asking about us about the Wolverine versus Blade art. Did you see that one? They did an art print with Wolverine versus Blade on Sideshow. I saw that. And does that mean we got like a it. diorama? Man, I I'd just be happy if we get a new Blade statue. I know, I mean, because I, the only Blade statue that I can think of is the one that I have up here where Blade versus the Vampire. Uh, I think they did a Wesley Snipes version, about, too. Huh? I think they did a Wesley Snipes version also. They did? I don't remember them doing one, but I do this one here from from the movie, the dioramas they did from about seven or eight years ago. Hmm. I actually did I reviewed that too. It's on the channel at I heard the I heard, like I heard when the, I first uh, started. I heard the taxes on that statue are gonna be crazy. Oh what statue? You yeah, guys it just totally went over your head, it's okay. You know Wesley Snipes Blood Plays Blade got hit for tax evasion. Uh, oh. oh my god. The the death. Death. <laughs> one two buckle my shoes asking which is the most anticipated statue collectible of 2020 so far and what was the most disappointing uh that you got or that you saw okay that's a great question by the way so go ahead which one start with that one um uh, my most anticipated statue uh this year probably was the batman who laughs mm -hmm. from prime one uh, I haven't gotten anything that I was disappointed in per se. Um, yeah, not anything of su of substance. I mean, I got a PVC statue, uh, didn't pay but forty five dollars for it. But it was the I was really excited to to get the nineteen eighty nine Batman um, statue from Diamond Select, and they totally screwed the paint on his face up. However, mm -hmm. the sculpt looks just like Michael Keaton. They just screwed the paint up on the on his face really what, bad, in my opinion. What happened to your uh, Bradford Exchange uh, Hulk transformation statue? That doesn't even count. That was just for fun, man. You we knew it. that was gonna be. It's a that statue. was not me. I, not I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> you were you were already you already were expecting disappointment. That's why you went. Yeah, disappointed. that was just for fun. That that was for us to have some fun. Still, the best. That was for me to redeem myself from not Warner. properly reviewing the Bradford Exchange statues before. <laughs> My most anticipated is, is the Asajj Ventress. I don't. I can't remember if I saw one this year that I was, you know, disappointed with like that. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. I, Most I, of the time, I, I like you know I like I try to get what I what I like you know so yes. that I don't have that kind of disappointment. So really, it has to come in and, and there have to be some really messed up pieces on it for me to be disappointed with it. Generally, a fan of most of everything. <laughs> so, uh, just, uh, I, I love this. Is is this VLV great? My prediction for the spectacular is a Batman statue that has him looking up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's um, awesome! My my uh... Trump got a Hulkbuster and got better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the power of the Hulkbuster, man. That's that's you know. Um, the thing that I that I was most anticipated for is something I still haven't received yet. That mm -hmm. is my uh, my Endgame Captain America. Yeah, you know from my hot toy that I ordered that I pre-ordered almost two years ago. Um, you know, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting on that to to show up. It's saying it's going to show up eventually between November and January. So who who knows at that point? Um, the most disappointed thing. As far as this year goes, for me, I would probably say I'm really disappointed in that Aquaman hot toy. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah, the Aquaman hot I, toy. I was really disappointed in that Aquaman hot toy. The articulation on that is absolutely fucking terrible. They they need to, Hot Toys needs to realize that, you know, we want to put 
these figures in some really, you know, dynamic poses, and we can't do that when the suit hinders the articulation, you know? Mm. And I'm sitting there, and I'm trying to figure this out, because if you look on Sideshow's website, they do have Aquaman in some pretty good poses, but then again, at what tension rate did you have to contort you know, the joints to make that. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. And I, I think that that was kind of a bust for me and kind of a letdown, especially since I was trying to put together the um, the Justice League. Okay. So yeah. yeah. I was kind of disappointed when I saw that also. It, was that, it looked like the, the portrait on that looked amazing. The suit looked really good. Oh, the portrait yeah, and the yeah. suit are hands down are freaking amazing. It just sucks. There's no goddamn articulation. Yeah. They should have just made it a statue, right? Right. Yeah, uh, if you're going to do that, then just do that. We got... Uh, Patient Mental, he's saying, uh, can either of you guys explain middle-aged men collecting Funko Pops? They have no nostalgia value. I just don't get it. I don't agree <laughs> that they don't have no nostalgia value. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't. Agree, I don't agree with that either. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't. I don't collect Funko Pops in the masses or anything like that. But I mean, I do see some of them, and I think that they're cool looking. And, I, yeah. and like, I got one back here right now. I mean, it's blocked by yeah. my microphone, but there, there's one right there, and I, I like yeah. it. I think it looks pretty dope back there. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got a couple. I mean, I'm really into um, uh, Universal Monsters, and so I got a few of those. And of course, I like um, uh, this uh, Dark Knights, and I, I've collected all of the Dark Knight Funko Pops so far. But I don't now, the, like Funko Funko, but the thing that I don't get, and and this has nothing to do with being a, a Funko Pop collector or or anything. This goes across the board for anybody that collects uh, uh, toys or statues or whatever. Is why the hell do you keep it in the box? That's the thing that I don't I don't like. It's because I'm like, man, well, I'm like I spent this money on this item. Yeah. I want to enjoy it. So well, the know? only reason I keep Funko Pops in the box is just easy to display that way, and you can yeah. display a lot of them. So I'm gonna I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it out on the line once mm -hmm. once and for all with the with the pops. So, the thing is with the Pops is that people leave it in the box because pop collecting has lost its, its luster about becoming about fun and collecting what you want. Funko has become about um, basically uh, collecting, collecting uh, value. Ba you know, that, that's, what it's, that's what it's come down to. It's an investment. That's, that's what it has become. It's not about collecting a line because you feel that way about a line or, or you can resonate with that character. It's about value and reselling and that's what, what it's become with, with Funko. That's why you see all these people at the stores now at the ass crack of dawn because, you know, a lot of people are resellers now. There aren't a whole lot of collectors. You know, there's people like me who've moved away from from Funko, um, you know, because of you know some of the uh, you know some of the issues with um, you know people you know some of the you know some of the issues that that you know you deal with as a Funko collector. And again, it's just become about about reselling, and there's no fun in it anymore. And I think that's why, if you noticed myself, OG, um, a few other people too that we know through the YouTube community have have moved away from it because it's not about collecting what you like anymore. It's about collecting value and. You know, there's been times where I've been at the store early in the morning because I'm going to pick up a, a Marvel Legend figure or a G.I. Joe figure, and there's a guy waiting outside with me, and he's like, oh, he's like, you here to get those new Funkos? He's like, a buddy of mine told me I had to go get them because they were going to be worth money. That right there right th summed it up for me. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm glad I don't, I don't do that shit no more. And, mm. and that's, that, that's what it's become about. It's not about collecting what's fun. It's about collecting collecting value and people thinking that oh if i buy this one for ten dollars you know maybe if i sit on it for a couple of years i can yeah, sell it for for a certain for a certain value. even even before then there was i mean there's there was those people that would collect out of the box and but it seemed like there was less people that that were out of the box collectors than there were people that that kept them in the box well, and i look at this in a way similar to like when i when i got my car because like when i got my car you know it's a hundredth anniversary car you know, they pitched it to me as it being a collector's item, which is the reason why I, I like the way it looks. Came with a leather wrap steering wheel, man, and I was like, this is dope. And the first thing my friend that is, you know, into keeping his car looking good tells me is, you got to take and put a, a steering wheel cover over that nice leather wrap steering wheel on my car, right? So I was like, why? I'm like, you know, because to protect the leather. So that way, whenever you go to resell this car, the next person can enjoy the car 
as new as possible. So I'm like, well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Let me take and put this this steering wheel cover over my my leather wrap steering wheel. So then I went to go take it to my other friend that that does vinyl wraps, and you know he was he was putting on some work to the car and everything. And he sees that, and he's like, George, why the fuck do you have that stupid <laughs> piece of shit Walmart, you know, plastic junk over that leather wrap steering wheel? And I'm like, so I could protect it and it stays new. And he's like, so let me get this straight. You went out and you spent forty thousand dollars on a car to keep it new for the next person that's going to buy it from you instead of enjoying what you just bought. And I was like, that makes perfect fucking sense, man. So, you know, and that's how I treat my, my, my toys and my action figures, anything that I get. I was like, I'm not keeping that shit in the box. I'm yeah, like, so some, um, you know. Nathan said, uh, he, he said, nobody collects pop Marvel, Star Wars, Hot Wheels, or just uh, for anything for just fun. It's all for value now. No fun in collecting. I, I hear what he's saying. I just, I just think for me, that's not the case. Because even back here, I don't even know what the damn boxes are for some of these things that are sitting there. I just think it's cute to have that up there with the Green Goblin and that would, I just, I, have never been the whole value thing. I that's why I guess I have so much shit. I don't sell anything. I just don't. I don't. Yeah, you get it because you like it. Yeah, I, I just like what like I what don't. Calvin always says: collect what you like, not the hype. Not the hype. Yeah. You know? Like I don't play this game, but I thought this was a beautiful statue, so I bought it. I have no idea what it would be worth. You got to play that game, it. dude. That game. That, I love Diablo. Yeah. Diablo's fun. No, now um, that I've seen this statue, now I want to play the game. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you got to try it out. It's good. Uh, Cellcom is asking, uh, who do you think the next guest will be on, on Mortal Kombat 11? I don't really play Mortal Kombat, so that's going to be hard for any of you guys to play Mortal Kombat? Spawn, no, but I, I wanted I to play Spawn it because Spawn was, was the, on there. Uh, yeah, Spawn was on it. Spawn? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Badger, keeping a figure in the box is like having a woman and not undressing her. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's a perfect <laughs> one right there, too. <laughs> going to save her. Keep her wrapped up for the next guy, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I tried to chime in and, and the chat went somebody was saying something about uh knuckle bones they make really cool uh, music pop you guys know anything about that because it's been asked several times in the chat about I that no i guess what, company i don't know what that one is, is. uh um, atv racer the uh the razor crest i think still has another 20 days or so to, to put your order in you can head over to hasbro pulse and then they got uh the hasbro lab link there and I'll tell you, there's still a lot of days on it, though. So trust me, I'll definitely post in the group when when it's getting close. Uh, uh, hey, OG, Dan, you guys are planning a hunt and didn't invite you. Bro, Mike, you're always invited. <laughs> invited. He's gonna, he, no, he's just busting balls, bro. He's going to yeah. be fucking in Orlando next weekend, so he ain't going to be here. Oh, he's not going to be next weekend? No, uh. and, I t and I wrote in the comments. I was like, LOL, bro. I'm like, you're not even going to be here. So, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, I see, I see. I'm catching up on the chat, man. Uh, incoming statue drop live at MCE. I guess he was talking about you in the uh, in the statue, Calvin. <laughs> this will not be dropped. No, no, no. <laughs> Rob was asking what scale it is. I think you you brought it up. You think it's about it's quarter, quarter scale? Yeah, quarter scale according to their website. Yeah, quarter scale statue. Uh, more talk about Blizzard. Blizzard stuff is awesome. I agree. Great pricing. Oh, yeah. yeah so hey, did you ever get in the the orc? The, the remember. One yeah, remember the one that we ordered the 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 um, um, uh, hell screen. Hell screen. Dude, remember we ordered the hell screen from that guy in Canada? We 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 bought it. We we bought it from him. Oh yeah, I got that. Yes, I'm like, wait, wait a minute. You th you you got me scared there. You yes, got me scared, that. bro. I, no, I got it. We never talked about it after I got it. Yes. Yeah. I got it. I got okay. It. The box is big as hell. It's still Huge. downstairs, and I am going to um, open it or do something, you know, and show it. But that completed all of the Blizzard statues from WoW that they produced so far. Yeah. So I got all of them. And until this statue, Illidan was my favorite statue from Blizzard. And then I got this in, and this kind of took the place of that. Uh, but, dude, wait you see Hellscream in person, bro. Hellscream is, is something else, man. Well, I saw, I saw your review of it, man. That's I why love I that piece. it so bad. That was yeah. one of you guys. Look, if you guys haven't seen George's review of that. My it's original one of his ones? Er, it's one of his early reviews. I love going back and watching George's early reviews. It's, they're they're funny. You Hell have Screen. to watch them. It's an amazing piece. <laughs> the texture and the, artwork on it is fantastic. This <laughs> irreverent guy right here was not that guy right there. It's, no, it's man. Fun. It's like trying to read out of a dictionary. <laughs> I know. My, my first video, man, I did of... Um, of, of, of the darkness dude i was so nervous doing that video i'm sitting here at the table with another table at time this is my first youtube review uh <laughs> this literally i was talking like that 
I, I considered taking it down, but it's got like twenty thousand views, so I'm not. <laughs> so just just a, just a quick FYI, we're we're sitting at about hundred and forty nine people right now watching, and How we've many got likes? Ni- and, and we've got ninety five thumbs up. So we need one more person to watch, and we need four more thumbs up, and then the Hulkbuster will come down. The Hulk four Buster. more thumbs up. It's that's done right there. Just refresh just by saying that. <laughs> Man, you moved that right. Hulkbuster way too much, bro. 97. There, there, three more. There it is. There it is. Three more. There it is. Look there at that. One of <laughs> Son of a bitch. And I got to bring down that fucking Hulkbuster. Hold hey, on. Yeah, you know you want to do that, acting like you don't want to do that. No, I don't want to <laughs> do it. Listen, the thing's fucking heavy, bro. I don't like moving it. Huh? That's why Man, people do know, this, because they, they know it's an inconvenience. You to believe that you don't like funneling the Hulk, Hulkbuster. I no, I do that. that in my private time off camera. <laughs> He's like, ooh, the arc reactor. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You, you need to bring the five Hulkbusters. You have five Hulkbusters. How many do you have? He's got two. Oh my god. How that is scary as shit. I would not move that. That's probably why Seth gets all the views, man. Because he keeps moving this thing. Oh, yeah. It's as big as Seth. It's, yeah, when it's sitting down. I think it's huge. That's a big bitch. Oh, yeah, we got to get that camera working. Yeah, that, that, Seth, I said that's as big as you. Yeah, man, the thing's freaking massive, dude. <sighs> there he is. Hugging it. There you guys go. Just a, just a boy in his Hulkbuster. <laughs> he says, I don't believe it. Weigh it. Yeah. <laughs> Hulkbuster! Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyday photos. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, thanks a pre- lot, Jeff, man. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Sir One Games Go says it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it is a baby. Jeff, welcome to the live show, brother. He says, hi, guys. Love the videos and finally get to watch live. Welcome, brother. <laughs> Antonio Cruz, show me where you touch it. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 they say to turn the lights on. Oh, the batteries aren't still in that thing, right? You know, uh, no, weekend, I took the battery. No, I took the batteries out. Okay. Next weekend, uh, YouTube might censor us. You know that, right? Oh, there's Why? no question about it. <laughs> we all right. Oh god. YouTube ain't gonna censor us, man. Mm, we got a well balanced show. We got, you know, craziness from Seth and from Junior. We got a little balance from me and you. <laughs> we got a Hulkbuster. I'm not bringing the Hulkbuster with me. Liar. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You know, the, the people say, we'll give you 200 likes. Seth will be like, all right, buddy. We're going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I was going to well, take any... If I, people if, watching. Thank you. If I was going to take you. any any of the Hulkbusters with me, I would take... <clears throat> hey, Captain Remus. Thank you. Hulkbuster battery fund. That was worth it. <laughs> that was worth oh, Captain Remus. Thanks, man. That, there you go. That's what gets us the funds. We just we got the Hulkbuster. And all of a sudden, we get it. We get hey, a... Now, I wonder Super what they do if you put both of them side by side right now. Freaking OG, I hope the Hulkbuster farts in your face and gives you guys pink eye for not inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Raymond's got a Hulkbuster battery fund right there. <laughs> uh, well, what do we got going on? Why are we having issues right now? There we go. So, yes. do we have display today? today? No. I really didn't. We really just, you know... Making this more of like a chat and everything. I didn't really have much. There wasn't really much that came out this week, man. It's like yeah, it's been a quarter. We had a yeah, we had a Django Fett that dropped uh, today. Uh, Pure Arts also dropped the uh, one third scale Stormtrooper helmet, which is supposed to be you know very highly movie accurate. So it's got all the imperfections that the like those things that I didn't even realize about the Stormtrooper mask. That, you know, like did you know that the lines that it has on the on the side of the of the helmet that on one side they had eleven, on the other the other side they had twelve. So it wasn't symmetrical. Yeah, I didn't count either side. Things like yeah, I wouldn't have caught that stuff. There's a lot of things that I that I found out about the about the characters in the Star Wars universe by by collecting the toys and stuff. So like, I didn't even realize that Jabba Hutt had a Jabba the Hutt had a um, a tattoo. So that was pretty cool. That's gross. Um, <laughs> That's I, uh, gross. I, I sent you a picture today, Seth. I I got the um, well, sort of, kind of got it. The holiday stormtrooper. I saw you told me that picture, bro. <laughs> Happy <laughs> we holidays. We got it in the store, man. So this is the deal. So we got it in, and I, 
I don't have it. It's in the store. So that's where mm -hmm. I sent the picture from. It's not released until November 1st, but my team ended up putting it out on the shelf. And so this guy was so excited he bought it. I mean, he wanted to buy it. So he went up to ring it up. And of course it says not available for sale, right? This guy lost his shit in the store because he couldn't buy the holiday stormtrooper. I That's said funny. Seth would have figured Seth would have figured this out, but now he couldn't buy it, man. There's no way it would ring up. Street no David first. Anthony Henry is asking us our thoughts on the XM Studios uh, Professor X. That's that's actually coming out for pre order, I think, next week. Have you seen that? You, you've seen that one, right, Calvin? It comes with two versions. You got the yeah. floating chair version, and you got the. Um, I I like the the uh, the Professor X, and, and maybe because I don't have another Professor X to, to go by, but I mean I think it looks good. It's a nice McAvoy, one. McAvoy, McAvoy or Stewart. He said somebody said Stewart. Seth should give away the Hulkbuster if we get two hundred watching. Yeah, no. Yeah, if way. you want me to, if you want me to give away the Hulkbuster, we need at least get at least five thousand people watching. Where's the Hulk? How about so you guys um, didn't even you guys didn't even notice no. I brought back down I brought I brought back down um Hulk's uh, Hulk's cousin Infinity We War, noticed, bro. And I we turned noticed. on the lights. Yeah, we I saw. turned on the lights. <laughs> How about Hot Toys teasing us with big announcement? What are we thinking it is? What did Hot Toys tease us with? I don't know. What did they tease us know. with? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't catch that one. Okay, AJ, anybody? what did, what were they what was the tease or what did it look like? Oh, they're supposed to be Oh, they they're supposed to be a um an announcement for some kind of like 80th anniversary or so, some 10th anniversary or some kind of anniversary thing that they're going to be announcing with some kind of um, special hot toy. John, John Tez Thomas is asking MC, do we collect or do I collect? I don't know what, what do you mean? Do you collect every figure? Which one of us are you asking that uh, to John, John Tez? MCE yeah, is all of us. We, we are Dan, MCE. We got Dan in the chat. What up Dan? No. Batman in the no. North. You guys are missing out. Roy's in the chat. When was the last time Roy was in the chat? He's in the chat, I think, last weekend. Roy was in the last chat. He's always been, Roy's always Roy, been yeah. in the chat. Well, Where's the man, bro? Because you've been talking about Star Wars for a while, so I thought he was MIA. Hey, I, I, I haven't really been talking Star Wars like that. I've been kind of like just talking about the figures and moving around about it. We've been talking about a lot of things. Yeah, you have. But anyway, so. Roy, yeah, great, great statue, man. Thanks. And uh, PJ, uh, at Calvin, any inside information regarding possible PS5 Mor Miles Morales Special Edition console? When I find out, I'll let you know, man, because I, I would love to have that too. But right now, it's just the white ones that I've seen, and there's no Special Edition of anything coming out. What's that I up, know Dan? Of. Yeah, that, that I saw pictures of, uh, and I thought it was just a fan-made one where it was all black, and you see like the spider logo on it. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, Seth. There is no. an Osmo Pocket 2 coming out this week, though. No, an get Osmo the fuck Pocket out of here. Are you for real? Am I supposed to say that? Yeah, I could say that. Um, anything bitch. different about that one? <laughs> uh, Tell yeah, us the I specs. Think, I think there is, but I, I'm not sure yet. Now I'm not so sure I should have said anything. But anyway, yeah. it comes. The, the announcement's on the 20th, and it's uh, street dated the, the November 1st. What's going to be different about this one versus the others? I think uh, a bigger sensor, I think, is one of the things. I think the screen is going to be bigger. I like uh, that. On it. So that, and then. Um, Are they going to change it where you can do the playback on the on the camera and then have the audio on it too so you don't true, have to plug your, but also to plug your fucking there, phone into it? Yeah, so also I think there's going to be an actual mic jack that works. Like, a, a, not a, it, on the specs, there's a wireless whatever for the mic. So there is something that people are saying that, you may be able to have a wireless mic that directly connects to the pocket too. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Dude, I hmm. just bought this fucking camera, man. You don't need to get the, the new Oslo pocket, bro. You could ride the with the pocket. old one. You're doing fine. I'll buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll go right next to you while you're using it and say, look at mine. <laughs> <laughs> For the, for the, for, for, uh, this weekend uh, is the XM HB in your future Hulk Buster XM yeah D yeah Dan is saying he likes my slow descent into the dark side of statues so he's asking me if I'm gonna get the XM Hulk Buster I don't know man I've seen it it looks awesome I'm actually waiting right now to see what the price is on the Bat Buster. That, I was just gonna say that. So Bat I'm Buster waiting. I'm waiting to see what the what the price is on the what is it the Justice Buster is what they're calling it. No, on which one? Crickets. 
On the Justice Buster? Yeah. Is that what it's called? The Justice Buster? Yeah, the Justice Buster. Yeah, I'm waiting to see what the price is on that before I do anything drastic. Yeah. Hey, Ride Everyday Photo says that camera is badass, Seth. Just learn how to use it. I bet you'd be 2K. Yeah, the camera you have right now is pretty dope. But, I mean, yeah. the the, uh, no, the Osmo I Pocket. I think he's talking he's about good. his camera that he is filming with right now. He's filming right now. Yeah. Yeah, what we were talking about before was the Osmo Pocket. Yeah. Which I think which I think the Osmo Pocket is good. I just feel like I wish I could have do better indoors. Yeah. What, uh, what is it? The freaking uh, one two buck on my shoe just had a funny had a funny thing where to go. How much does the XM Hulkbuster cost now? I want to say it's over three thousand dollars when it comes yeah, shipped. A lot of money. So I think that uh, that uh, I, I guarantee you, bro, that Justice Buster is going to be somewhere in that range, like two thousand yeah. dollars. One two buck on my shoe said Seth buy the camera that Sideshow used at their at their con. <laughs> the latest was one? That it was was that shade? It was this. No, I mean, yeah, it was throwing shade. It was throwing shade. <laughs> the latest, the 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 con they just pulled off in New York. I think the the camera quality was good. Yeah. So, I think so. Yeah. Eric saying five K for the for the. Uh, I'm thinking he's saying the. Um, Osmo. The no, not the Osmo. The um, the the what do you call it? The the Justice Buster. Oh, five K. Yeah, iPhone one iPhone 11. Oh, 11. iPhone 11. They they released two new uh, um, DJI Ronins this week. Yeah, I did saw you see that. that? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. I did. Has me wanting to get the original Ronin now. But as now I got a new camera. Pocket. I think some of your issues with indoor lighting might be solved too with the larger sensor. Yeah, with the newer one. That's why I'd, I would consider getting it and then <laughs> selling the the other pocket. Because the Osmo does have its its usages. I just, you know, I didn't think it was good when you were filming at the cons, you know, and getting your glass. I don't think it's good for that. I don't think right. it's good indoors currently. Uh, it's really good for outdoors. It's really it's good for these hunt for videos. Toy, it's fantastic for toy hunts inside of yeah. uh, box retailers. I mean, that is like a perfect camera for doing toy hunts. Oh, there's no, qu oh, there's no question. Yeah, because we're always, you know, I'm always getting... Um, you know, quite, you know, like before when I used to go in there with my cell phone, um, it was like, oh, how, what can, how, can I help you, sir? What are you doing? And, you know, and I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm filming. Oh, you know, a lot of filming here. Oh, you know, and then, you know, you introduced me, Calvin, to the Osimo Pocket. And then I was like, okay, fantastic. This is perfect. This is exactly what I need. And I have not have gotten kicked out of a store since. It's so <laughs> concealable. It's so perfect. You know, freaking Mike kills me all the time. Well, Mike Mike actually just upgraded too. So Mike had this big ass um, GoPro with the with the big ass handle tripod, and he would walk around, and sometimes he would get questioned. So you know, it's great that I'm walking around with this little this little camera, and nobody notices me. Yeah. Did you see what Tony's uh, shark said? Hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming he's talking about Lilith right here. What's that huge bitch? Who's, who's that character? <laughs> <laughs> The Lilith from Diablo 4. Diablo. Yeah. Rob, uh, the winner of the XM Gambit, I think her name was Crystal something. I, I, I got to go back and look. But that was already shipped out. And I think I forgot who won the, the Jawa. I think the, the Jawa, the winner was in um, hold on, in no, hold uh, on, Las hold Vegas. On, hold on a sec. I'll, t I'll tell you right now. Give me one second. Oh Jesus Christ! I think it was listed on the on the uh, on the contest. If it's still up now, because I, I think after a couple of weeks it takes it comes down. AJ one eighty seven says sideshow slacking in comparison to Prime One Queen Studio in, in Infinity. I'm not sure exactly what but he's referring to. It's kind of hard to compare them, man. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, you know. Because you got a one third scale, they're making half scale statues um, and and full scale statues over at at Queen, you know. Crystal, uh, Chris, you Crystal, saying, Crystal James and Louis Dalvila. Okay. Louis yeah, Davila. and using medical grade silicon to make these busts. I mean, that's kind of like in a, they're just in different categories of. of yeah, it's it's a totally busts. different thing, you know. And yes, they the the I agree that you know that if you compare apples to apples, like a Queen Studios one to one scale, um and the busts, you know, are night and day better looking than than uh, than the sides. They, they seem to just be a higher end quality or what they're yeah. using. But they're also doing things like um, the uh, silicone skin and stuff like that that sideshow is not even touching. Uh, so you know, you, you look at and the price difference. You know, three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars for a bust versus 
you versus, know, a little over a thousand dollars, you know, yeah, or, or less. But um, hey, somebody said, uh, uh, what is it, Diego Hernandez? What do you think about the uh, PCS Spider Man Scorpion Rhino Diorama 112? What are you talking about? I haven't seen that. The PCS, oh, that's the smaller scale one, yeah. So there's a, there's a bunch of uh, a smaller scale PCS Spider Man that they did for the move for the uh, video game, the advanced suit, right? But yeah. I'm just when he says that, I'm thinking that all these character, characters are together in a diorama. Is no, it, it's it's. I think they're individual figures that can connect together to make it look like a diorama. I that think sounds pretty cool because I've seen some. Of, I've seen some of the individual figures, and they don't look bad at all. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The GameStop hat. Um, they have the uh, Power Rangers from mm -hmm. PCS, mm -hmm. um, and I saw Spider Man. I think from PCS at, at GameStop. Right. So S.A. Badger is asking me about the chimichangas. Uh, nobody, I'm not doing any more chimichangas. Um, so long story short about what happened to me was that the pay, uh, I got, I got uh, uh, banned from PayPal. And um, when, I, when we went through and I argued enough with them to try to get my money back, one of the things that they pointed out to me is that even though I asked people in the chimichangas group to not list that this is a, a raffle for a piece, some guy listed that it was a raffle and I didn't catch it. Now we're talking about a... I think it was like a $12 mini or something like that that they ran or that they paid for and, you know, back in 2007, 2018. And that's what uh, what they were pointing out to me. So because of that, my money now is on hold at, at PayPal for a six-month period. And I'm not going to be able to get it back out. So I'm not doing any more raffles. Um, so unfortunately, I'm sorry. Um, hey, there's fate. Yeah, I, I would... Talking about him earlier, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, fake this Lilith from uh, Diablo Four. Yeah, man, that's gonna be. A, I, I liked uh, uh, Diablo Three. That was that was a great game. Played that for a long time. So I gotta go. I gotta dive into it because Diablo Three is actually on the Switch. Yeah. So yeah. I have the Switch. I have it. I still have the game, man. If you ever want to play it, I'm down to play with you. That'd be fun. So I, I got it on PC. Isn't Diablo uh, Spanish for fighting chicken? Yes, Seth. That's exactly what it's for. Oh, my God, Seth. AJ is asking, where is Two-Face, Penguin, Riddler, Doc Ock? Uh, I'm guessing they're still talking about Sideshow. But then they bring out, yeah, Batman, Iron Man, and Wolverine. And, yeah, man, and, and we got in that conversation last week, and Fate brought up some good points about it. You know, that these, these characters, Batman, Iron Man, Wolverine, Captain America, you know, those characters are, are like, the, the staples of, like, their own genres or their own, like, franchises. So, like, Wolverine is the most recognizable character probably of the X-Men. And sometimes even Marvel, Batman for DC, you know. So, uh, Sideshow makes these characters over and over again because, uh, you know, they, they sell and then they bring out entire, you know, other characters for us to get for that line. So it, it, it you know, you really gotta like jump on the characters that they don't make too often, so that we can show them that you know these characters are wanted and and that they can make money with these other characters. So that way they will make other ones, you know. But I think often what happens, like what, what's happening me with me right now with this character for the for the Mandalorian, uh, uh, Cara Dune, I, I'm not a particular fan of her. And I'm not that much of a fan of the statue. So it makes me feel like I don't want to buy it. But then it's like, I know that if I, I don't buy it, then what's going to happen is, is that they're just going to make another, uh, you know, a, a, Mandal not Mandalorian, but I mean, another uh, Darth Maul or another uh, Django yeah. or, or, or Boba Fett or another Darth Vader because they know that those characters will sell. So I, I guess I got to like... Uh, uh, a, Listen to my own advice and probably just buy it. But <laughs> yeah, Eric Garcia asked you a question, George. What's that? It says, said, uh, George, you think it's worth getting Wolverine on Sentinel Hand Old PF? I love that statue. The uh, the one that I used to have. You mean? I got rid of all my X Men characters, but the, <gasps> the you're talking about the the premium format from like 2018. That's a really nice piece. I think it, that was done well. You got two people saying that we need an apocalypse. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, but you would have to make Apop Apocalypse as big as that uh, that dark side now. Yeah, I think you would have to make him pretty big. I mean, they, I've seen them do a couple custom Apocalypses that I've not been happy. Actually, most of the Apocalypse statues that I've seen come out, I've not been uh, uh, too too fond of. You said the so, same word. Yeah, I know. Sideshow, I think, did an Apocalypse a long time ago. So is there, like, um, 
Cordell Frank, I guess, says waiting on a Kylo Ren hot toy uh, from Rise of Skywalker. Is that a thing yet? It hasn't come out yet, but it did. It did come out. They had it on pre-order. And Exo, I do agree about Doom. That is a character that they haven't overdone, and that that I would like to see. Like, I would like to see the Fantastic Four if that's what I, we're yeah, talking I would about. Like to see the oh, Doctor Doom. You mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If that's what we're talking about, I'm yeah. hoping that's what he means. I don't think he means the video game Doom. I would definitely. Maybe agree he's with talking about the video game Doom. No, yeah, Doctor Doom. Yeah. I, I would. I would love okay. to see the Fantastic Four. That would be awesome, dude. They yeah. Could, they could totally make a badass human torch and possibly a thing. Well, well and awesome. that's what I understand. The Fantastic Four has been a staple ca- uh, comic that has introduced so many of the other characters, you know, into the universe, like Black Panther and other characters got introduced, you know, through uh, Fantastic Four. <laughs> Mike is saying, I don't popular. think, we, Mike is saying, I wouldn't be saying we'd need an apocalypse in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all about that. that. I agree with that, man. Yeah. Kang would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, but you, you know, but the fact, yeah, but see, but then again, it goes to back what we were talking about last week, Calvin, and and with um, licensing and and what's a, and what's allowed, you know. So it's like, you know, okay, they've got to meet a quota on X amount of Wolverine statues, or they've got to meet a quota on X, uh, you know, X amount of Batman statues, and it's like, you know, how much how much is the license really to acquire the Fantastic Four? I mean, it's it, you know. I, I hate it. Again, I wish they would stop putting out so many of the same characters, and I'm in totally agreement with you, Calvin. I wish they would put out a Fantastic yeah. Four. I think it would be awesome. But again, yeah. it's all about acquiring the license. And then I take I take Raphael. I get what he's saying, but I even take issue with them being B-rated characters that he's talking about Batman villains like the Penguin, Clayface, Riddler. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't consider them B-characters, um, especially if you're a comic fan. They're major staples of the comic. I think so. Um, I think so also. And and I don't understand why they don't. Like Shazam, for example, you got Martian Manhunter. And if you're a comic fan, these are characters that are that are anchors in the comics. So B character, I guess that's in my opinion debatable if if they're considered B characters. Because everybody thinks that the only villain that Batman has is the Joker, and that's a bit played out. Yeah, it's very played out. No, I agree. Yeah, having these other villains, you know, it would be great to see them. And the other heroes too, Martian Manhunter and all those guys. And I'm sure that DC fans like, would go out and buy them. Like, I know Junior would buy a Martian oh Manhunter. He would be I, I all over that. that. So, and Shazam, if they, if they made it in, in, um, in one-third scale for him. <laughs> one, two, buckle last two. You read that. <laughs> Wait, but a Tony Stank, Calvin, and Seth one-third scale. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. If they made a statue of me, I'd, I would buy it. I would buy it, Definitely. <laughs> so you strictly Star Wars or someone's at who ask what do you write ask are you strictly Star Wars or am I strictly Wars? Star Wars I'm I would say I'm mostly Star Wars I, I like Batman still um so I, I will get a Batman statue I like Iron Man um but I'm not journeying I'm not trying to venture too far off from Star Wars because my room is not very big so I'm trying to keep a, a little bit of a theme going on here um but yeah I, I like Star Wars a lot so that's my usually what I stick to the most uh, G.I. Joe statues, isn't that uh, PCS, PCS collectibles? Yes. Making yeah. uh, and I, G Force Racing, is that it? Twenty, ask that question. Um, yeah, but they haven't released them yet. So, and I have, I mean, other than the Ninja Turtles, which I have to admit, every single one of the PCS Ninja Turtles that have come out have been fantastic. They did a great job on that. I'm about to look at Michelangelo here real soon, and I saw the uh, the images for for Leonardo. That is going to be a great line, and I hope they continue it with with the rest of them. Uh, the GI Joe, well, we saw the GI Joe figures two years ago now, mm-hmm. or yeah, about two years ago. I think is when I first saw Storm Shadow, and uh, and I still haven't seen anything come from it. So I love know. the work that PCS does, but I am serious. It takes long enough for statues to come out as it is, mm-hmm. and I man, the, the the wait sometimes is just excruci- excruciating. Yep. Because I, mm-hmm. I ordered Kloof, the uh, the dragon statue. Mm-hmm. I think it's, what, three years now? It's still... Justin's like, George, extend the room. Problem solved. <laughs> I don't think I could do that in this house, man. I'm looking for a new house. That's what I'm looking for. Hopefully, I'll have, like, in-law quarters for me to have as my statue space. Is that actually a sad statue, the Superman versus Goku? Did I miss out on something here? Is no, it, I didn't see a Superman versus Goku. Uh, collect them. Uh, I can't sell you them. Sell them. I don't know. I can't. Forgive me. Dude, guys. they uh, showed images of the size of, of Doomsday's hand for the Superman versus Doomsday one-third scale statue that Junior said was not going to be all that big. Dude, the freaking Doomsday hand was like 
It was massive. Like the fingers were going around this guy's fist. It was it was yeah. crazy how big that thing looks. Yeah, it, it's getting ridiculous with the uh, PCS collectibles. What do you think of the uh, Morgan Chun Li statue? Uh, I don't think I saw that one. Uh, I don't think anyone's gonna come. Co I've seen it. I don't think anybody's gonna come close to what. Um, uh, what was the company that did Morgan? The one that you had um, with the eyes, George. Oh yeah, for Morgan. Yeah, yeah that, you're yes. talking about uh, HMO collectibles. Yes, I don't think yeah. anybody has done. That was that. a beautiful statue. Yeah. yeah, very well done on that one. Rob is saying that PCS is the prototype for Destro and the Baroness. Um, Baroness. Yeah, like like I'm I'm still following on the same thing. I, I wish that PCS would release pieces more often, you know? Like in two years I think Storm Shadow should have already been been released, you know. I like um, that Spider Man in the advanced suit, the one that I think that looks face. awesome. It looks yeah. amazing, but that price tag just kills me. Oh dude, if you don't like that price tag, you ain't getting that that uh, that Justice Buster, bro. <laughs> no, well, well, no, there's a, there, no, there's a there's a difference though. You know uh, the word the, the the name the name Buster is in it. I have to uh, follow through. Yeah, I'm so army, Buster. I'm army, yeah, Hulk Buster. Dude, uh, yeah. uh, XL, there's two two questions. XL Chun Li. I guess they're asking where um, that would be. PCS, right? That we were talking about. That's making one. Okay. Chun Li would be PCS, I think. I don't know who else is making that. Uh, <laughs> then um, Four, the four says, Four's is Jr. and Cape Rehab. Uh, yeah, is Junior and Cape Rehab. Cape Rehab, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, hey, first four figures is, uh, I guess, somebody saying making a Morgan. I haven't seen any of those. Um, the Prime One Bermejo Joker. I'm going to be taking a look at that one. That, that one that should be coming this way. Cancel through Prime One and that's going to be awesome. Go through Sideshow, big mistake. Prime Ones have started shipping. Um, uh, wow, that sucks. Uh, but yeah, that Bermejo Joker is just just off. It's sick. That's William Wright is saying that the that the Storm Shadow has been out for a month. Has it? I mean, if it has, I'll go on their web um, on Sideshow's website. If there's something available for it, and, and I might pick that up. You know, because I like the way that one looked initially. And I'll do a review on it. If nobody's yeah, and done then it. after and then after the after you're done doing the review, you gotta like jump up in the air and catch yourself jumping and be like, "Yo, Joe!" Yo, Joe. Nah, but I'm doing <laughs> Cobra, bro. I gotta do Cobra. Oh, then you gotta you, go Cobra. Somebody was asking for more video game statues. I, I've seen that they're coming out with some good ones from uh, from First for Figures and from uh, Gaming Heads. I think Gaming Heads just did one for The Last of Us, uh, the main character in that game. I can't think of what her name is right now. Gaming Heads don't get enough credit, man. They, they make, don't. They do some nice pieces. Yeah, yeah, and I have the um, the Gordon from um, uh, Half Life Two, man. That statue I think is was really awesome. It looks just like the character in the game, but they and don't get a lot of credit. First for figures uh, uh, did a teaser that they're going to be doing the Dark Sider statue. From uh, I think you'll like that one if you don't know the game, Calvin. It's um, a war. Have you ever heard of the game Dark Siders? Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. So they're doing war to start. Uh, I'm hoping that means they're going to be doing the rest of them, but just the, the few little teases they did in the video, I, I'm on that. That one looks good. So, PJ, PJ how long have you been collecting Star Wars? Uh, how long have I been collecting Star Wars? He's been collecting since '78. I, I was born in '79, so I wasn't. I've been collecting that long, but I, I, I have. Uh, I've had something Star Wars since I was five. So I've always had something Star Wars in my collection at some point in my life. Yeah, Pinche, and, uh, Pinche, uh, Pinche uh, saying Storm Shadows available on Sideshow. All right. All right. Nathan, if you guys want to see a review on it, I'll do it. Nathan, I think um, it is, it's a uh, gaming head. Um, their website, I think, is the one that's making the uh, the statue you're talking about. Which one? Right? Um, he was asked, The Last of Us, was it? The Last of Us, yeah. Gaming Heads yeah, is doing that one. Heads. It's already out, actually, and uh, and I should be doing a review on that one. I, I want to say that uh, we're, we have that one on order. I got to look at my, my list. So I try to get a variety of different things, but uh, if that Storm Shadow is out, man, you know, if you guys want to see a review on it, just, you know, what do we have? How many, how many thumbs up do we got? I don't know. Right. Damn, Seth. Okay. <laughs> you know, know. Seth is such a dick sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I've been I've been known to be one on occasion, sure. Yeah, on, on, on more than one occasion. We've got right now 132 thumbs up, George. 132 thumbs up. How many people watching? 134. Actually, that's pretty good, man. We got 132 to 134. Well, people want to see the whole club. People want to see the whole club. We're not doing a whole lot, just shooting the shit. I know, that's pretty cool. Actually, we are doing a lot, man. We're shooting the shit. That's a lot. I know, right? That's cool. Yeah. Don't always got to have an agenda. 
So, jo- uh, OG, I have something Star Wars in my collection since the Mandalorian came out. Since the Mandalorian, <laughs> OG's a trip, bro. He's gonna be asking me questions about Star Wars. I'm, I'm loving his enthusiasm over it, though. That's all. That's oh, great. Dude, he's he's like all in on yeah. Star Wars. Like the past, like the past, like I think like three or four months. He's just like anything black series that's like a stormtrooper or any kind of trooper. I mean, this man is going yeah. like all in on. Yeah, he is. It's cool, man. Yeah. I always love seeing new Star like, Wars you, fans. You, sh- you should have seen him. You should have seen him when we were at Tate's today talking to the to the guy uh, that always helps me with the hot toys behind the counter. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Hey there." He's like, "You know when the Incinerator Troopers coming out?" And you know, he's like, uh, "I think we're getting it in next week." And Mike's like, "Oh, I'm not going to be in the area." And then he looks at me and he's like, "Hey, Seth." He's like. You think you could call them and go get it and pick it up for me? And he's like, I'll send you the money. <laughs> you, know? you know, he's like, just so I could get one. <laughs> and of course, yeah. I'm not going to let my boy down. But but yeah. Hey, oh, no. so um, I don't I, I have thought about getting one of the Witcher statues. Uh, a few companies are making them, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think the ones that I've seen look freaking incredible, though. They, they, they're just awesome. One, two, Buckle and Shoes says, George, you do saber reviews, Thundercat swords, man. Thundercats. Thundercats. I love that. And I do saber thunder- reviews. I do a lot of lightsaber reviews. Well, well, yeah, but I'm saying you should you should get a Thundercat sword and do a review on that. On the Thundercat sword? Yeah, the Sword of Omens. I love that sword, but I mean, I would want the sword to be able to, you know, expand, yes, expand. and all that. And and your room is kind of small. And then light so up. The, so that's the last thing you need is being like, thunder, thunder. And then all of a sudden the blade comes out and yeah. it freaking smashes your fucking Lego Millennium Falcon. Oh my God, dude, that would be hilarious. That's funny. Well, it wouldn't be uh, hilarious for you, but it would be for us. Yeah, any bad thing that happens to me <laughs> is great for you. I love it. Seth, anytime Seth says it's going to be hilarious, it's usually at my expense. So, <laughs> Emerald is asking if you're going to do a full lineup of your Blizz statues. Okay, so I've already done a review of all the Blizzard statues that I've gotten except this one so far. So, if you check out Statue Fanatic, there's uh, uh, reviews off of this one. But I have filmed a review this week of Lilith that mm-hmm. I'll post uh, it'll, in a few days. It'll be posted. Nathan's Gaming is saying he wish they would make an Uncharted statue. I am almost certain that Gaming Heads have done an Uncharted I, statue. I, for 100%. Positive. I love that it's still on the website for sale, I think. Yeah. I'm checking it out right now. With that's like, right that's I like love Uncharted. Yeah, that's like my top, like in my top five of uh, all-time games. Yeah. I, I, I love I, that game. The whole series, yeah. bro. Yeah. That is I'm an amazing really series. Really surprised that Gaming Head does not get more attention because they make some great freaking statues. Salcom so saying that I should do a review of the Red Sonia. Which Red Sonia? There's a Prime One. There's the Sideshow. <laughs> I think they did like two from Sideshow. Yeah. Um, yeah, did you see uh, the Laura Croft uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider statue? Oh yeah, dude, that's yeah. a good one. That statue looks amazing too. The statue looks and good too. People on their on their um, computers right now that are in the chat, if you have not ever gone to GamingHeads.com, check it out right now. You'll see what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. They um, they absolutely have some great stuff on their website, and the price is a lot less than most of the other companies. Mm-hmm. Well, Laura Laura Croft can definitely raise my tomb. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, the prices are definitely um, <laughs> Calvin. I love how Calvin tries to. Calvin just ignores it. Yeah, you know, like you don't got a tomb, you got to earn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I heard what he said. You know, I know how to tune Seth out. I love Calvin. Calvin's the great. Listen, you won't be able to tune me out when we're face to face. Not at all. It's gonna be interesting, and I'm gonna be drunk, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you become. I like when you uh, when you get drunk, you become more belligerent. <laughs> <laughs> HMO Collectibles is another one that does some great gaming statues. They did a, a really good... Uh, they got the Morgan, obviously, we've just been talking about. They also mm-hmm. did uh, Devil May Cry. That one they did a great one for. They did... Um, uh, what the hell was the name of that game with the woman with the huge, that had that huge sword? Red hair? Red oh, Sonya. No, no, not Red. Yeah, Red Sonya. Um, <laughs> damn it. I can't think of the name of that game. Hey, hey, DLB... Hey, you got, he said he has to go to his grandma's 90th birthday tomorrow, so good night. Hey, oh, happy, good night, man. Ha- happy, happy birthday, birthday to your grandma. Happy 90th birthday to your grandmother. Hell yeah. Happy birthday. Heavenly Sword. They did a Heavenly Sword stat, uh, statue. Amazing piece. You know? And HMO does a great job with the boxing, the, the packaging, everything about it. You know? Calvin, Calvin's going to holler. No more locked doors. LOL. <laughs> Calvin, do you own a Conan in your collection? Um, I do own a Conan um, in my collection, and it's from about maybe 15 years ago. It is from um, 
uh, C.S. Uh, Morgan. Um, uh, I'm talking Morgan. Um, damn it, I can't even think of the, the author's name right now. Sculptor. Um, C.S. Moore. Jesus, I can't okay. think of that. He did uh, uh, um, Frank Faraz. Frank, uh, Frank Frazetta. Frazetta. Yeah, you Frank, got the Frazetta uh, Conan. That's right. And, That's a uh, nice piece. That one. Yes. I nice piece. Hey, man, I have at least 10 pieces from uh, from Moore. Very nice. Uh, Fate's asking about a, an exclusive Spider Woman. Do you know about that? I don't know which one he's talking about. Oh, behind mm -hmm. behind Cal behind Calvin lower lower shelf next to Scarlet. Oh yeah, look at that, man! Fate with the eyes, bro. That's not the exclusive though. Oh okay. Now the exclusive one has the other the other head all together, but no, I like it, man. And the Avengers that one. What I don't have that I want is uh, Miss Marvel mm -hmm. uh, from that line, but yeah. Are you capable of pulling out that Frank Frazetta uh, Conan, or is that a heavy statue? No, it's not even in here. Oh, it's not even in here? Okay. Yeah, it's not even in here. It's in one of Calvin's many rooms. Many rooms, his statue. He has wings like like uh, like Junior. <laughs> yeah. 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 Calvin, can you walk into Calvin's house? Calvin's like, would you like me to show you my pleasure room? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're in it, by the way. G Force is saying he's gonna have a nerdgasm when I review Ventress. I'm gonna have a nerdgasm when I review o Ventress. OG, OG wants. I might to know not make it through that review. OG <laughs> wants to know where we're going hunting without him next weekend. Where we're going without him? Everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. I'm finally gonna make it to Tampa. We're not going to Tampa. We're staying local. Calvin what, what wants to go to. Calvin no, no. Wants to go Seth to won't. Seth won't go to Tampa with me. <laughs> <laughs> I did go to. I went to Lakeland with you. We can't. We that's went on, close. That's on, that's on the outskirts. As, as close to Tampa as we can get. I'm <laughs> like, can you take me to Tampa? Like, no, I'm taking you to Lakeland. I only go to Tampa with OG. <laughs> Listen, there are certain things that I I like to do with certain people. That just that's sounded fucked completely up. wrong too. I just so. wanted that, that, that sounded completely <laughs> wrong. Go fuck yourself, Seth. <laughs> oh my god. Now, you guys, Calvin keeps it next to his head. <laughs> Would I get a life-size Iron Man statue? Ah, shit, man. It depends on if I can afford it. I mean, it's I don't want to spend $6,000 on you that. You could have bought that one from no. Think Geek. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to buy that one. That one looked cheap. What are you going to say? Well, you can get one of the uh, Styrofoam ones from, like, NECA. Yeah, that, that's what the that's what the Thinky cat on it. I just I feel like that looks cheap, you know. If I'm gonna, and it's still expensive. It ain't it ain't inexpensive. Yeah. They How much was like that one? Ten, they wanted like ten thousand dollars for it, and then when they were going out of business, they slashed it in half to five. And the thing looked like it was made of foam. Oh, I don't know what it was made of, but it was heavy. It had some weight. Wait, Think Geek went out of business. They weren't going out of business. The Think the Think Geek uh, in Orlando went out of so business. That display because they've had that statue in multiple stores, so they sold it. Yeah, they sold it. <laughs> right every day says a life size Iron Man statue with my head on it. <laughs> that half uh, scale Iron Man from Queen Studios looks good. So does the uh, the Mark Seven. See the Mark Seven from from Queen Studios. That one I want. That one looks good. You feeling it, Seth? I'm pooping out, man. You pooping out? Me. It's and, I gotta, I gotta, and I gotta wake up. I gotta wake up early and come up to you tomorrow morning anyway. So. Yeah, I mean you don't. I mean, you don't got to wake up early to do it. Yeah, I do. I got shit to do. Well, then you're not doing it for me. You're just doing it because you got shit to do. No, I'm doing it for, I'm doing it for you. A liar. Oh, jeez. A liar. Everything I George, do. what do you think of the uh, Mandalorian line of hot toys? Love it. <laughs> I already got the Mandal I got two Mandalorians, the the heavy trooper, the IG-11. The only one I don't have on order is the is the, um, the incinerator trooper. And I may still get it, but I don't have it on order. But... It is getting kind of late. Seth's about it, to fall over. It, 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 you're, you're right, right, every day. I don't sleep good on that couch. Yes, yeah. Seth, need, Seth needs better sleep. It's, it's yep. lumpy. It's lumpy. On me. Seth needs a couch with a bed. Right. So you, know, other... somebody, you know somebody left while we're on the couch subject? Someone left a comment on my couch. Uh, left a comment on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> left a post-it, right? <laughs> no, someone, someone left a comment on my video saying that like one day you're going to come home and the couch is going to be gone. <laughs> and then I responded to the comment by saying that works for me because at least then at that point I can get an inflatable, ma <laughs> inflatable mattress. <laughs> I sleep more comfortably. All right. So before we get out of here, we know, you know, guys know what we're going to be doing next week. We're going to have a live, live, live video down in Margate at Flynn's Gaming Arcade. Arcade. I love the name, Flynn. And that's anybody great. that's local is invited to. And you guys get the reference on that one, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. All right, cool. 
So other than that, you guys got anything coming up this uh, this week? Uh, no, other than this, and um, I got a couple of other uh, reviews that I'm working on, but nothing as epic as my freaking um, Starscream. The Starscream was sick. I saw that twice. We saw that in per- yeah, we saw that in person. No, uh, no, he has the XM Studio Starscream. Did you watch that video? I saw oh, it twice. The, is that a different? Is that a different one? Yes, dude, you got to see it. It's oh, the one amazing. I'm looking at is the PCS one. Yeah, no, this no, one no, makes no, the no. PCS one look like plastic. Okay. Seth, other than falling asleep, what you gonna do next? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a song and dance. <laughs> nah, um, I got uh, what is it? You know, my hunt, my hunt video on Tuesdays, and then uh, you know, uh, I think next week, um, the lounge is on hold. Next week, I think I've got enough to do a build the figure live stream, which a lot of people have been asking for, and I've been wanting to do one for a while. I just haven't. There just hasn't been any kind of Marvel Legends waves that have come out that I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get. <laughs> so I just, um, yeah. So I just went ahead and I got, I got um, three, three waves to open up. So we're gonna be doing a build a figure live stream next week. And cool. Then, uh, who knows? Who knows what other shenanigans we're gonna get into? So. Cool, cool, cool. I got a, a new camera in, so I'm very, very excited about that. And hey, I'm gonna oh, you try got to it? play with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it came in. I got all I got all the stuff now. So tomorrow I'm gonna try to play with it and get to, to know it a little bit more. And I think the first video I'm gonna shoot with it is the uh, is the PCS Michelangelo. So nice. that should probably drop on Monday. I hope if all things work out. Uh, so other than that, um, this is gonna be more of the usual stuff that we have. You know, I think I, think I got um, some hot a hot toy to review. So we'll see. I'll leave it at that. Leave it to mystery. Hot, hot toy. <laughs> and we got so, fix. And we gotta fix this fucking camera before I throw it out the Yeah, yeah, window. we're gonna fix it. We're gonna get you all working set. No, that's what you got me and Calvin for, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, Be like happy. I was telling Mike today in the car, I'm like, all I wanna do is take it out of the box, plug it in, and have it fucking work. And that's and it. Yeah. Yeah, when you get to the better cameras, you gotta play with it a little bit more. You gotta stroke Jason, it. I love it. Jason, thank you, man. Thanks for joining us, man. It's buttery. Yeah, soon. guys, thank you to everybody that joined us today. I hope you all have a good weekend. Stay safe. And until next time, guys, keep it marvelous. Since Junior's not here, I'll do the train. Choo-choo! <laughs> <laughs>